This Fanthatrax TV video is brought to you by Extractor Fan and Dehumidifiers. Yes, that sound in the background is three of them running and there's nothing I can do. So apologies for the possible bad sound quality. Well, hello! We're back again. And along with the other Fanthatrax team members, we are all doing our thoughts and reactions to the latest Han Solo, well, not Han Solo, Solo trailer movie that hit uh, during the week. Oh man, I am still tired. Yeah. One day I'll go into all of the crazy stuff that's been going on in the last few weeks. Anyway, um, yeah, another crazy camera angle because there's like certain areas of the shop that there's a little bit of a mess. Hey, you're not interested in that. You're probably not actually interested in what I've got to say about the, the solo train, but I'm going to tell you anyways because I've been told, been told, man. Um, yeah. This is the sort of third trailer that we've had. The first one was very much a teaser, sort of glimpse, and there was like an expanded teaser. This is the first proper solid trailer. So I'm probably not going to be able to tell you anything more than what a lot of people have already said already, that, you know, hopefully excitement is building. But uh, there, are so, there are a few observations that I've made that I want to kind of like say um, that I hope you might agree with. If you don't, please let me know um, because, of, you know, I, as I always say, very interested in what you've got to say. But um, the very first teaser didn't feel like a Star Wars movie at all. It was very much, uh, it reminded me of Blade Runner 2049 more than anything else. You know, even the, 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 the heavy synth soundtrack and the stark landscapes and things like that. This one had a very different feel from what that very first glimpse was and is very much more in tune with like a Western movie. You know, it's kind of like building up, you know, there is this uh, young gun and he's, is he out for revenge? Is he, is he looking for money? Is he, is he looking for fame, fortune or whatever? You know, you've even got like um, around the campfire and like getting together or like the, 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 the posse that's gonna like be after what have you. You know, they're, they're literally billing this uh, or, or giving that feel very very different again from what you saw earlier still not very uh, much a uh, Star Wars in its theme but that, that doesn't actually matter and I'll get to that in a minute you've got like even like a guitar dang 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 um, that is something you never see in any Star Wars soundtrack so again that's kind of cool and interesting they are really trying to position this differently to anything that we've uh, seen before is that a bad thing? No, it's not. Um, fundamentally, every Star Wars movie, everyone cannot live up to its hype uh, or the anticipation and the expectations that are set onto these things. It's really tough. And when you're coming off the back of something like The Last Jedi, which was so divisive um, amongst the community, people have a, you know, there was no kind of like middle ground. You either loved it or you hated it. Um, to not have anything built up for this one actually could be better. Um, in previous videos I've, I've discussed saying about the reasons why there's been a delay and it was all down to the scheduling and like getting the promotions for certain things in place and toys to give them a bit of breathing space, you know, get them in and out, um, which may or may not have affected the success of this film. But given that was, this is coming off the back of what the reaction was to The Last Jedi. I actually kind of feel that it, in many ways gives it a better chance or, or, or a stronger fighting chance than others because if it is good, if it, if it is a bit of a sleeper hit in the sense of that you know, all the hardcore fans are going to go see it, no questions asked, you know, and, and, and most of my friends who are Star Wars fans are going to see it at least sort of like two or three times anyway. You know, it, don't get me wrong, it's not going to be a flop. These things are not set to fail in any shape or form but like if it is one of those things you know uh, I want to say it because everybody's comparing but like Guardians of the Galaxy was a bit like that it wasn't a film that everybody was like, anticipating to see in the same sense of that Iron Man at that point in time um, and Captain America and Thor and things like that it, it didn't kind of fit into what all those other ones were leading towards yet when it came everybody loved it and then you know it was like sort of a surprise summer hit and I've, I'm kind of hoping this would be the same on this one 
you know, it's got the the buildings of like a buddy movie, the origins with like you know Han and, and Chewie's relationship, and like how Han fell into this whole kind of like uh, life that he leads and stuff like that to to where he gets to now. The whole thing about the actor choice and like you know is he or isn't he like that? I couldn't actually care less to be honest. Um, you got to just take it as it comes. You know, if if social media was around when. Ewan McGregor's portrayal of Obi-Wan Kenobi was about, you know, everybody had been up in arms about that, but like, you know, everybody's taken it, you know, embraced it and, and is cool with it. And I think this will be the case with, with this guy as well. Um, certainly a lot of the feedback everybody said about the guy uh, is nailing Lando, and yeah, he, but he's, he's getting all the cool lines up, up to this point. Um, that doesn't mean that he's any better or worse than uh, the choice for like Han Solo, you know, and I, I think you know, hopefully when we see it, it it's going to work out pretty cool. But yeah, it's a cowboy movie. You know, you've got the train heist, you've got the guy looking for revenge, you've got the, like, the, you know, getting getting the, the team for a job and all this, and they're, they're like trying to like, get everything together. So I think it's going to be it's going to be quite cool. If I have got any hopes or aspirations. Please, can we see some like original trilogy type guys like aliens, like Rodians, Hammerheads, and, and what have you? Um, it doesn't have to be the literal character cameo that you see in Force Awakens. Oh, it is Nine Numb, and in Rogue One, it is Ponda Baba. You know, just just have some of those aliens propagating in the background. I know we we're building up a library and it's a big universe and stuff like that, but that doesn't mean that the the cameos have to be the literal, actual physical things. You know, I want to see some of these. I mean, come on, let's let's get like where's well, the posse? You know, because it's a Western thing. Let's get a whole posse of Ugnaughts together. That'd be ace. I've got to go. <laughs> ah! Sorry about that. It comes to the coming in uh, perils of doing videos uh, when you should actually be working, but don't tell anyone. Um, so where did I get to? I have no idea because I'm trying to do it in one take ish. Because easy. Um, but um, yeah, style of it very different to anything else. It's moving away from like the traditional Star Wars in terms of like the, the, the feel and the sounds, and also the editing. You've got a lot of the click, 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 pew, pew, pew kind of thing going on, um, which is uh, it, it sets it up for a different pace and, and moves it away from like something like Star Wars and allows you to compare it to other things instead. Which is not a bad thing at all. I just hope there's no kind of um, things forced upon you in in a similar way to that the Last Jedi did. Um, my my, I don't hate the Last Jedi, but I do feel that within a few years it's going to look very dated because of either the the. the the statements that were being made on there, which didn't kind of need to be put into a fairy tale mythology that we, you know, managed to get through to this point so far with, um, and I think it will stand out against all the others because of either because of character development or because of the things that were like being pushed into it. And I don't think it's needed. <laughs> ah, my Little Pony collectors coming in and interrupting. <sighs> Anyways, my name is Dave. This is Fan the Tracks TV. Um, please click and subscribe. It's on the left hand side. Left hand side. Um, but um, yeah, Solo, looking forward to it. It's going to be ace, going to be cool. Check out our other uh, team members' reviews. Um, check out our many product reviews. Um, I've got something coming up this week. Oh, God. <laughs> this is painful. Whew. I've actually got a belter of a review coming up. Uh, well, not so much a belter of a review, but like how I'm doing the review is going to be ace. But I've been waiting for sunny days and it's sunny outside, and yet I've not got that call till I'll be able to do the review. I mean, come on. You know, time's ticking. The George in Fording Bridge. You know, we've got the skills. And by skills, I mean mouth to be able to do the review. Anyway, it'll make more sense when it's done. <sighs> God, I'm bored. Bye!